hi guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to draft a men's t-shirt pattern so we're going to be needing the following tools so i have my pen my paper scissors my tape measure my pattern master and also my pattern paper which i've already taped to the table then i'm also going to be using a uk medium size measurement so to start i'm going to first of all draw a line to mark my starting point and once i do that i'm going to get my neckline measurement so i'm going to be using the standard three by four measurement the standard one is actually three by three but i'm going to be using three by four because this is a medium size and we don't want the neck to be too tight so for the back panel i'm going to come down by one inch and then i'm going to draw my curves once I'm done, the next step is to get my shoulder measurement. So for this medium size, the shoulder measurement is 17 and a half inches. So we're going to divide that by two, which is going to give us 8.5 inches. And then I'm going to add my half an inch sewing allowance, which is going to make it nine inches. So I'm going to mark that point. And then I'm going to come down by one inch for this shoulder slope. So if you remember, our shoulders are not straight. So we're going to come down by one inch. Now, because this is a masculine t-shirt, sometimes you can come down by up to two and a half inches, depending on how broad the shoulders are. Now, for us to get our arm all measurement, we're going to use the same shoulder measurement. Trust me, it works. A disclaimer here this is how i make my men's t-shirt if you have your own methods and how to do your calculations that's absolutely fine but for me i'm going to use the shoulder measurement which is nine inches and then bring it down mark that down and then draw my straight line now you can mark that down from either the main starting point or from the shoulder point i chose the shoulder point so the next step is for us to get our chest measurement so for this medium size the chest measurement is 40 inches we're going to divide that by 4 which is going to be 10 inches and then we're going to add 0 0.5 inch allowance making it 10.5 inches so we're going to draw our horizontal line to meet those points now the next step is for us to get our ammo curve so we're going to find the middle point of the ammo point um sorry um oh god i just forgot what that is we're going to find the middle point of our ammo measurement and then we're going to divide that by two and then we're going to come in by half an inch and then we're going to use our pattern master to draw the curve So the next step is for us to get our full length measurement but before we do that i need to explain how a men's t-shirt is drafted so because if you look at my um measurement i do not have my waist or hip measurement this is because men's t-shirt are usually just straight down so that means your chest measurement is your waist measurement and it's also your hip measurement however if the waist measurement is more than the chest measurement then you have to flip it so the waist measurement becomes the chest measurement in order for it to accommodate that body size so the next step is for us to get our full length so um, my full length is 27 inches. I'm going to add the sewing allowances for the shoulder line, the ammo, and then the hemming. So that's two and a half inches extra. So I'm going to measure 29.5 inches. Then I am going to transfer my chest measurement to my hip line measurement. Now, the way I make my t-shirt, I usually try to accommodate the shape of a man so that means they have broader shoulders and then leaner hip so once i transfer my chest measurement to my hip measurement i'm going to minus one in order to accommodate the v-shape men usually tend to have now this is not the case in all t-shirts but majority of the t-shirt i have made this is how i've made it so this is my style if that's not what you want you can just 
use the same measurement as the chest measurement and then just draw a straight line to join those points. So once we're done, I'm going to draw in my grain lines so I know which direction to cut my fabric. So to cut this pattern out, you can either imagine that you're going to cut your fabric on a fold. So this way you're only going to cut along the back neckline or you can just place this on another fresh pattern paper and then cut out the front panel. So the next step is cutting our sleeves. So I already have fresh pattern paper on the table and then I'm going to start with my cap's height. So the measurement for the cap's height is your chest measurement divided by 12 plus 0.5. So mine came out to be 3.8 inches. So I'm going to mark that point all the way down and then I'm going to get my ham all measurement which is also my shoulder measurement if you remember and then i'm going to mark that point i'm going to add half an inch sewing allowance so instead of nine i'm going to have 9.5 then once i'm done i'm going to draw a straight line so now the next step is to connect the ham all measurement from that point and connect it to the starting point to the edge of the starting point i'm going to draw a diagonal line and then once I do that, I'm going to measure it and then divide that measurement by three. So once I get the measurement, I'm going to mark that along the diagonal line. So that is going to give me three sections, three equal sections. So the third section, I'm going to divide that by two and then mark that point. So once I do that, I'm going to go up on the first section, the point for the first section, I'm going to go up by 1.5 centimeter. And then I'm going to go back to the third section at the middle point, I'm going to go in by one centimeter. And then I'm going to draw my curve starting from the edge all the way to the middle point of the third section. And then from the middle section, I'm going to draw my curve inward. So the next step is my sleeves length. So the sleeves length is seven inches plus half an inch allowance for the shoulder, making it 7.5 inches. I'm sorry I keep going between half an inch and 0 0.5, it's just how I think about it. So once I do that, I'm going to get my bicep measurement, which is 7.5 plus half an inch sewing allowance, making it eight inches. Then I'm going to draw my lines to join those points. So once I'm done, that is the bodice pattern and sleeves pattern complete. So in my next video, I'm going to show you how to cut those patterns on a t-shirt fabric and then sew them together. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe. You'll be supporting my channel if you do. Until next time, have a good day.